Hey everybody, Sinister Lex here, and I am coming to you for the first time live from the Whisper Room. I am not live. Damn it, I did it again. I said it again. I said I wasn't going to do that, and here I am saying the words live again. I uh, am not live, but I am live right here in this moment. It's the only moment I can actually be in. Think about it. It's fucking deep. I'm here in the Whisper Room to do a sound test. I got it set up yesterday. I finished it. I got a piece, uh, which there was a broken piece. I'll talk about that in a Whisper Room video coming up shortly and some other... I have another Whisper Room video coming up probably later today. I'm not 100% sure yet. This is just so I can do a sound test, make sure that my microphone's working. I want to see how everything sounds. I want to know that it's not sounding boxy or anything like that. This room is fucking cool, though, guys. This is the coolest thing. Like, no, I love things. If you don't know me, I love having things that nobody else has. And I know, without a shadow of a doubt... Okay, like 99% sure nobody on my fucking block or anywhere around me has anything like this. And nobody knows I have it. They don't know it's in here. But I just like love having things that like nobody else knows about. They just don't know what's going on in this house over here. They don't know that I set up a fucking dance club in my bedroom and that this is like all here. That I can play music as loud as I want in this place and nobody outside of this room can hear it. Okay, if you're standing right outside the room, you can hear it, but we'll, I'll get into that a little more later on, you know, if, when I do a Whisper Room video. For now, this is just a test. I wanted to bring you guys in here for the first time, kind of maybe, I don't know, show you around a little bit. As you can see, I've got my stereo speaker, well, one of them over there, one's over there, and an atmospheric laser, which another one is over there, set up in here. I was playing with those last night, and uh, they can get pretty loud, you know, and they make it all crazy. And the reason I have the laser set up, like if you notice right now, you'll see there's lights up above. There are both puck lights and LED lights. So I want to show you guys a little bit of this room since we're in here. And I'll just kind of swing by over here so you can see some of what it can do. These lights can dim. So... See, those can dim pretty well. I think I might have to set up one of my uh, one of my filming lights in here just because it's a little bit dark on my face. I mean, I like it being dark, but it's still pretty dark on my face. But if you shut these off and you just leave the top lights on, now we have this really cool, like, fucking dance club atmosphere in here. And right now it's on a green setting. It's not showing up real well on the camera at least i don't think it is you guys might be able to see that but let me show you some of these other settings let's start with like red boom that's red how badass is that like this is so me this is so atmospheric and uh it's very cool i'll be able to be in here writing jamming out to music if i want to and nobody outside of here can hear it unless they're standing directly outside the room beyond that i tested it last night playing my music at like full blast out of both of those speakers with an amplifier and everything. And I was in the living room and couldn't hear it. The most I could maybe hear was a tiny bit of bass, uh, just like the vibration from it, not the actual music. So if I was not in the house or if I was in the living room and the television was turned up or something, I wouldn't even know that anyone was playing music in here. It's fucking wild. Now uh, these lights, oops, these lights are pretty cool. They can be dimmed like really low. So if I want to, if I can find, I don't know, I got to find the thing. There we go. So look, they can be dimmed down to almost nothing. And uh, when it's like that, it's just a really dim environment. This is the middle of the day, by the way. Well, it's not the middle of the day. It's like, it's nine o'clock right now. So outside is pretty bright, but in here it's really dark. I didn't get a whisper room with an extra window. I didn't want one because I don't need the window. I like to meditate in pitch black. And this is like the perfect... This isn't pitch black, obviously. I could turn these off if I wanted to um, and be in pitch black. Like, look, now we're in pitch black darkness. But uh, I actually like the ambience or ambience, however you want to say that word, from these. So the puck lights and these lights can be dimmed or dimmed down or up. Is that as far as that goes? I think it is. And uh, there's a bunch of different features. We can turn, I, there's so many different colors you can choose. That's green. There's blue. I really like the blue. My favorite is probably the purple because purple is my favorite color. So that's pretty cool, I think. And uh, I also like the white setting. So these are white, 
but it's not just the white that I like. I like the strobe effect because it's like, dude, this shit's like being in some horror movie. Like it's so, it's so me. I don't even know any other way to describe it. This shit is badass. And, uh, yeah, if you guys know me, you know, I fucking love this shit, but I think I will have to have an extra light in here just because the lights overhead, they shine on my bald ass head and that's great, but they don't shine on my face. And uh, I need it to shine on my face so that you get that HD effect. Right now it's a little bit fuzzy just because it's just a little bit dark. There's other effects though. We can make the lights do different things. Like uh, these are, I don't know, that just changes the color slowly or something like that. What else we got? One of these is a really cool like dance effect. If we, I think it's this one. It just kind of switches them quickly. They're doing fast, rapid switches and stuff like that. And when I turn on the lasers, it's really wild. Like this whole thing, it's just like having a personal private dance club. I come in here. It's I call it the introverts dance club because it's just me. Nobody else is here. My, my wife could come in, I guess, if she wants to. But if I don't want her in here, there's a lock on the door. So I can actually lock her out. The door is over there. I don't know if you can see where I'm pointing, but I'm pointing back here. That's the window to the door that you're seeing right there. And uh, I guess you guys saw it with the lights on. Yeah, anyway, it can be locked, so that's pretty cool. And it, it almost, like, doubles as a safe room because, like, if someone broke in the house and you wanted to run in here, well, they can't get through here. They would not be able to get in here. All of the all of the uh, screws and everything are screwed from the inside so that it, it, it locks the doors really heavy and you would just not be able to get in here. Um, they might be able to smoke me out, but, you know, who's got a can of smoke on them? when they're just robbing somebody in their house. Like, not many people are carrying a can of smoke just to go robbing people. I don't know. Anyway, I just wanted to make a video, kind of show you guys, like... <sighs> this video is actually more for me than it is for you because I needed to hear the sound, uh, what the sound was like. There's two vents. There's a ventilation system behind me. You can't see it. Part of it is behind that, and the other part is down below, and there's a ventilation system over there. And uh, the way this one was built, because it didn't come with the window, I actually, I probably should have took more time setting it up because I did this by myself, even though I said I wasn't going to, but I set it up by myself. I didn't really put a whole lot of planning into it. And I ended up with a ventilation wall over there that was good to go. But the one behind me, um, well, just the way I set the ventilation walls up, one should have been on this back wall. And so I have some cords and stuff coming out from the ceiling. I got to find a way to cover those up, but Really, they're not that big of a deal to me. They're not bothering me at all. And yeah, this, I and mean, I got to figure out how I'm going to set up the camera and the the laptop and all that and where the keyboard is going to go. Um, I think that's about it for now, guys. If you guys are following me for Upwork videos or anything like that, first of all, I want to say I bought this with money that came from Upwork, not from Upwork, but from clients through Upwork. So, you know, you guys know. Like I've been working on Upwork and uh, I'm using that to fund things that I want in my life. I think we're still recording. It froze up on me for a second. Anyway, anyway, I use I use money from my clients and stuff like that to, to buy things like this. And if that's what you're looking to do, if you're looking to get to that level where you can start having the shit you want in life, you know, follow me on YouTube and uh, subscribe down below if you want more stuff like that. Also, make sure that you're in my Steady Pay Freelance Facebook group because you can get question, you can ask questions there and get answers a little bit faster probably than what I can answer you on YouTube. Also, if you're looking for more Whisper Room videos, I'm going to be doing some of those. I set up a playlist just for Whisper, whisper Room videos. I'm going to make a few more about the setup, what it was like as a single person doing this size of room on his own because this is a six by eight room. And I set it up on my own and I promise you it was the hardest thing I've ever set up in my whole life and I did not come away without injuries. So anyway, if that's something you're looking for, subscribe so that you can see that playlist and know when that stuff comes out. I'll be putting out more today. And I think that's all I've got. If you guys have any questions for me or anything, let me know. Otherwise, that's it. And subscribe and like and all that shit and I will see you next time.